So today it's September 26, 2023, and after a lack of meaningful updates for years, Valve dropped its biggest update yet to SteamVR, SteamVR 2.0.1, yet exactly one day prior to MetaConnect 2023, with a complete new design and interface. Hey Tay here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, but luckily I can talk to you about SteamVR 2.0. Valve for sure likes trolling, but hey, there's still tomorrow, and there's some rumors about the new headset from Valve. Is that gonna happen? Well, for now, let's discover this new update together in this video and how to install it. Let's get into it. All right, and here we are in SteamVR 2.0. Point one. Uh, by the way, as you can see, this is the exact same home environment that we had before. Nothing changed over here. It will be nice to actually receive some new ones with new functions. But the big part is actually in the new dashboard interface. The thing that you use pretty much every single second to start your games. So clicking on the menu button, the new interface is going to come up. And yeah. It might look very familiar to you if you used to use the Steam Deck or you're still using the Steam Deck or the new Big Picture mode. Because yeah, this is pretty much the same. By the way, it might be a bit too close to the screen, so I'm gonna put it a bit further away, grabbing on this little bar. As you can see, it's a bit glitchy when you move it, uh, but here, we have it and uh yeah this is the new interface exactly like we used to know on the steam deck or the new big picture mode nothing new over there but for sure much different from the older one that we had in steam vr that is still gonna come up a bit but yeah what's the particular thing here well we have a new dashboard as you can see with the different design that we can move around we have the new bar on the left over in over it is gonna open and expand and we can go through all the different sections of big picture mode let's say but the cool thing over here this time is that uh, it doesn't feel like it completely divided right now we can interact completely with steam directly inside vr let's go through a if you're not familiar with the steam deck platform well here we have all our games our recent games you can just click on them and open them uh, click play to play and go in the settings over here if you have to manage some stuff every option is available but the thing that they didn't change yet is this little icon for the controller that still brings to the nothingness of the regular controllers instead of the steam vr binding that are very very powerful and very used in steam vr but yeah we have the back button we can go back every time at the end of the list we have the entire library over here with a new tab that is vr on the top left and here we have four all our vr titles ready to actually play going back to home well we also have what's new with all the news about the games that you're playing uh what your friends are playing recommended if you want to buy something new and uh yeah more advertisement after that so like the steam deck again the second part in the menu is the library and we already saw it with our favorites collections and stuff like that then we have the store that first time actually we can jump in the store uh, from vr without going through the desktop mode and uh yeah it's gonna open directly the vr section on the store so uh we can browse over there you can um, you want to play hitman uh, you click on it and yeah we're gonna have all the different characteristics settings um reviews hitman vr i finished it it could be better as a vr implementation but let's keep going we have the friends and chat part this is very very big because it was pretty much impossible to chat with people and also start voice chat before and that is crazy considering that vr is a big social platform and clicking over here we can see the new keyboard finally that it again if you played with the steam deck recently you're gonna recognize it right away because this is the same exact keyboard the only thing you can interact just with one controller at once and there's no uh anything happening with the thumbstick so we don't have the cool inputs that we can have with the steam deck or with any xbox controller 
for example. It's kind of a letdown, uh, but uh, we can move it around closer and further away, as always. But we can't interact with it touching. So um, hopefully that is going to arrive in the future. Next section is media, where we can see all our screenshots playing. Uh, this is uh, Red Red Redemption 2 with the VR mod. Pretty cool. Download, we have uh, the download section over here when we want to update a game and something like that. I need to update No Man's Sky because I want to try it again with the new update, by the way. And this is big, is the new Steam settings. That Again, these are not the Steam VR settings. This is just the Steam settings in general. And uh, we can go through everything exactly like we did on the Steam Deck. So we have the system over here. We can actually check the Steam VR beta update. So we can receive this update. Of course, we have to do it on the desktop. Internet, notification, display, changing the scale. That actually doesn't work right now. Uh, audio, controller. Again, this is for the regular controllers. Keyboard is to change your keyboard. If you have the Steam Deck, you might have different keyboards. And uh, well, you can see it over here. I don't know why it appeared there instead of, uh, you know, in front of me. Okay, here we go. Uh, friends and chat with all the settings, downloads, cloud, family, uh, remote play, storage, and in-game voice chat, home, and library. Here we go. All the settings are there. And at the end, we have VR settings. So if you want to jump on our old VR settings, they're going to be over here. And as you can see, they're exactly like they were before. Unfortunately, they didn't update for some reason this part of the dashboard that it's the actual VR part, by the way. So yeah, uh, play area, dashboard, controller, video, audio, startup and shutdown, developer modes and event settings to hide it or show them. It's exactly the same. Nothing changed in the system, by the way. It's pretty much all the same. For the rest, we have a full access to Steam directly also from VR. Let's look at the new dashboard though, where we have the recenter button over here on the left. As always, click mm -hmm. on it. We wait three seconds and it's gonna recenter our VR world. In the volume, we have the new sliders. By the way, if you notice, these are 3D, so we can move around them. That's pretty cool. It's like a card that comes up. Steam to go back to home every time. Then we have now play. This is the old menu that we have where we can change the video settings, the controller bindings, or, you know, uh, close the game when the game is open. We have always the two desktop mode, one and two, because I have two monitors, as you can see. And then here, uh, the, the particular thing, we have all the plugins. Before we had a, a little three dots icon that we could click and those would open all the plugins. Instead of here, they just arrive one after the other. And I think that it can be a bit confusing because it might get a very long line over here yeah, if you have many plugins. Uh, this is revived, by the way, to play Oculus games on Steam VR and uh, FPS VR over here. This is pretty much my favorite one I use all the time to see the FPS in games is still working. So I didn't find anything uh, that breaks plugins right now. It seems like more an update as visual, uh, let's say, and the system to prepare everything to be used completely, to use completely Steam instead of being like a complete redesign on everything. So all the plugins that I tried, they still work. So don't worry about it. We have the notifications over here. If you receive some chat or invites or something like that. And um, with Oculus, that is not going to happen. But with the index, when I tried with the beyond, when I tried over here, you're going to have also the battery of the controllers on the right here. We have a time and it's not clickable. So that's pretty much it. Also, they're working on transitional Linux, of course, because something is cooking. Rate up, because I like what they're doing for now. And uh, yeah, now we have this Steam Deck in our headsets. All right, here we are. This was update 2.0.1 for Steam VR beta, because yes, we're still talking about beta. I have to say that it's pretty stable, by the way, but you can see that it's still unfinished because the entire VR menu is pretty much the old one without any new refinement. To be honest, just hearing them talking about that this is just the beginning of the Steam VR 2.0 journey, it's very reassuring because 
hopefully you're gonna put a little more effort in this. As from the Valve Index release, we didn't get anything new to the software pretty much. But yeah, more to share in the coming weeks and coming months if that's really a new headset standalone with using this as a system is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Codename Deckard, by the way. The thing that this looks more and more like the Steam Deck, to be honest, is pretty much the same exact interface that you're gonna find over there. And we finally have full access pretty much to Steam, also directly from Steam VR. Now you can go in the settings for Steam and also in the settings for Steam VR. I just wish that there were together in a way where if you go to these settings, there's also a part with the Steam VR there and you can change everything without going to a different menu with also a different style and everything like we have right now. But yeah, this is still a beta and I understand it. I kind of like the new design. At the end of the day, I'm using my Steam Deck pretty much every day with it and I love it. You know, it doesn't feel very VR centered, but for sure it's better with what we had before with the big picture modes uh, that was like just completely out of place. The Steam Deck is super usable and easy, so yeah, we have the same thing over here. So good choice, I guess. If you want to try it yourself, by the way, you have to be on the Steam VR beta and also on the Steam beta at the same time. So for the Steam VR beta, you have to look for Steam VR in your library, then go on settings on the right, properties, betas, and select the beta channel over there. For Steam itself, you have to go on Steam, settings, interface, and there you're going to be able to select the new Steam beta. Easy. Steam is going to restart. The update is going to be extra fast, by the way, and you're going to be in and you're going to be able to use it yourself. But hey, what do you think about it? Do you like this new direction unifying every single Valve product like the Steam Deck and the Steam VR? Or did you like the old big picture interface? For sure, I'm going to have to change all my True Lenses videos right now, so uh, it's pretty unfortunate, but I have to say that I like this better. So. I think it's a good move. But hey, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, please like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. If you really love the channel, join button there, little and further, also the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreon, join the channel, of course. And I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.